All right, so with this, TJ uh, Shook was asking me to, uh, I don't even really know how to pronounce it, his name, but it's a TJS hook or something. So, bro, you turn the thing on, you hit the power button on the side, and then you go down to the, you hit the menu button right here, it's three little lines, and you go down to where it says format, and then you click the OK button up here on this little guy, and you hit that, and then it formats it. It says, do you want to delete all data that's on the thing to format, and then you say yes, and then once that's done and you're formatted, you can um, back out, okay, and now you're ready to roll. So for this in particular one, what they want you to do, so when you're hooking this thing up, what you're gonna tap into is going to be let me see the camera, baby, because I can see. I'm sorry, y'all. Thank you. Um, what it's telling you to do for the reverse camera to activate it, you're hooking up to the po um, positive, the red side on the reverse on the reverse light. So every time you put it in reverse it turns your camera on, all right? And so that's gonna be tapped into with the multimeter and I'm gonna have to show you how to do that, which if that's not a problem, we can absolutely, I'm gonna have to learn it too, like, because I know like how to use a multimeter, but I'm gonna have to learn how to do a particular thing. Um, so, and then what it does is it comes with this camera that it runs all the way back. I think I'm gonna end up putting this thing on the, Somewhere by the license plate, probably, because I don't want it on the stinger, but I just want it to where I can kind of, I mean, I'm not going to be using my stinger a lot, but, so I probably won't use this a lot. I mean, I, the stinger that I have is for, like, chain hanging older stuff in the 90s. They do make a uh, 90s to 96 grid. It's called for my truck that I could swap out for that setup that I have that has the old school L-arm setup, even the... The, they call it the speed hookup too. I can get that swivel hookup with the scoop and spoons. I've never used those, but they look a little faster than the L-arms. I don't know, I'm thinking. But from 90 to 96, sent, um, Miller and, let's see, I think there's another one It's like Century or something that made a really cool bar that goes across and it's called a, a crossbar or a uh, the L arms that go to the crossbar. So I'm not gonna hook all this up today because I'm the, for the reverse camera. But um, baby, do you mind following me? Sure. Okay, so we're just gonna go and put this in the truck real quick. And um, guys, this was a gift from the Villa Reels. So they have been very eager to help the channel ever since the first our first interaction and um they've Gilbert and his wife have been very helpful with the business giving me, giving me information just telling me um ways to get clients if you want to um you hold the phone for a second, babe. That way, uh, you have both hands to climb up in the truck. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. How about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? How about a round of applause for Miss Molly? <laughs> All of her hard work, man. <laughs> She's <laughs> always helping. I changed the oil on the truck. Hand me the phone for two seconds. I should have wore a belt, y'all. My my belt's in the washer. It's a cloth belt. I don't. I've had the same belt for 20 years. Okay. So here's my setup now. Um, this is my short man reacher. Okay. I use that for everything in the world. My skates. This this is gonna be put up. Um, that's my extra cable for um skates, chains, hooks. 
jack. Jump box does not belong there. I was just using it earlier. Uh, I changed the oil on the truck today. I changed the oil filter on the truck today, y'all. Um, yeah, come on. And so, here we go, Miss Malone. Thank you. I'm the luckiest man alive. I love you too, baby. All right. So stay right here for a second. So for this, I ended up going and getting one of these, okay? So I have extra for, so this is gonna get hooked up here. All right, we're hooked up. And then, so this little dude here. I mean, it's gonna be pretty simple. The more difficult thing is definitely gonna be the, um, I would have to say it's going to be the locating that reverse wire, but I wouldn't say that's going to be really difficult. I believe we'll be able to do that in a matter of five or ten minutes, if that. So we'll pull this off. So for the camera, I'm going to want mine dead center. So if it locks like this. Okay. And so I'm going to want mine... <laughs> this is confusing. All right, what did I do here? Okay, so what am I doing? Is it? Let's plug it in and see what. Um, let's see what it. it uh, which way to? I'm trying to get my bearings here. Is everything working? It is now. Okay. Nice. All right. So it's going to need to be like this. Cool. So I need to loosen this. So yeah, it's got this little screw on the side. You just loosen that guy and you come up. I'm gonna go with this because it's better than spit, right? It's just a little classier. Not that much, <laughs> but just a little classier. All right. I guess if you're really classy, you'll bring a little shot of some Windex or something. I don't know. I'm not the classiest dude. Maybe I should try harder. All right, and then you screw that bad boy down and she locks. And then, of course, you let your um, your lube dry or whatever it is you used. And then, of course, I'm going to be doing some wire hiding. And I'm going to have my stuff like this because I don't want these issues. So I'll be having I'll be having it like this. And then let's see. This is going to aggravate me. So these will have to be all right. And then I'll mount that right there with some Velcro. And then I'll use that as an extra port. And then I'll have two ports there. And then, um, yeah, so there's there's several settings, bro, that you can have this on how you do your, you get your information for your, da your data. So um, it's basically saying that you can do video mode and it's the default mode when the camera's turned on for video recording. Um, there's photo mode allowing you to take still photographs and then there's replay mode allows you to view the recorded videos or photographs upon the dash cams IPS screen. It has emergency record which is a motion detection thing. When the motion detection is on it will detect uh, if that there's a move, moving object and the recording will auto on if it is if it finds a moving object we recommend that turning off the motion detection and parking guard function turning it off during driving. Let's see, and then it says there's loop recording, dual lens record, equipped with dual lens, our cash double safety. So yeah, rear end, there's one that's going that way and the one that's facing us. So, you know, in case you get a drunk lady in the truck that's trying to take extreme advantage of you, you have solid proof that you tried to, when she, you beat her, that, you know, God, you was trying to keep your relationship with your wife alive and it was worth it. Like. I'm telling you right now, if a jump lady tries to make out with me, we're going to have a fight. And it's going to be all on camera. Because I would want my wife to knock the dog fire out of someone trying to kiss her. Period. So I would have to do the same. It would just be like, wham! Is that too much? Alright. So, now we have the drunk lady cam, or the meth man cam, whatever. You know, someone might try to say that you stole something out of their truck. Well, guess what? If you got your camera and you're and uh, you're showing the entire thing, dude, Gilbert, 
this is a big deal for us, man. We um, definitely wasn't in a position to afford this yet because of uh, everything is, you know, so fresh right now. So you may, and then the gear too. Come on, man. From on behalf of me and my family and the uh, silent partner, we want to thank you guys, uh, the Villa Reels. And then, so yeah, guys, that's it for now. We uh, change the old girl's oil today. She, um, she's running good, man. She needs to get that gasket fixed, but we have the parts are being ordered. The mechanic, when the mechanic's got what he needs, we're sending the truck over there. He'll have the truck for a couple days. And when we get her back, she'll have air conditioning. I just changed the oil today and the oil filter. He don't have to worry about that. I do have new fuel filters too, but um, they're not due yet. But so, and then TJ, dude, come whenever I come down to do the uh, video for the continuity or trying to figure out the hot on the reverse. Pretty much, we'll put it in reverse and then find where the hot is on that. I'm sure it's going to be how we do it. But yeah, bro, I got you. I promise. And I definitely appreciate you sticking with the with the channel for throughout all that crazy dirt bike riding crap that nobody wants to see <laughs> man that's awesome y'all thank y'all so much um look at that adios so yeah it is official the truck is it may be 90s here but it is psh, i am in the future or at least in the last three years you ready mm -hmm. all right y'all i appreciate y'all watching i had a whole nother video to give y'all today but it had a booger or something on the screen of the uh, GoPro. And like, oh my God, I was so upset when I went to go watch it. There was just smear. You know, on the, I, I'm not posting that. There's there's no way to hide it. I'm not posting that. I was just disgusted. I'm like, all right, I'm going to wipe the screen at some point in time in the video. I fast forwarded all the way to the end. Guess what? The booger's still on the screen. <laughs> so I was so upset about that, y'all. It almost ruined, ruined my Sunday. But... I was like, you know what, let's go let's go make some content with me and the wife and I usually don't let her I usually don't like being on camera so we don't do it like this but I mean shoot we've had the channel for long enough now you guys know what I look like. The beard's going back. I don't look like a chomo no more. Thank God. That <laughs> that mustache Jesus dude. I was hoping I would have like the donut operator effect, but it was not. It was like the mustache nose um <laughs> disguise that's what i look like the mustache <laughs> nose disguise you know it's true all right y'all thank y'all for watching if uh smash that like button it man it helps the youtube algorithm you guys if y'all knew that it's just a, hitting that little bitty like button means so much and then if you really want to go that extra mile just bring some stuff up in the comments i don't care what it is i will talk to you about anything y'all know that we will talk about anything. Hit me up in the comments, man. I will. I don't even care. You know, it helps. I swear to God, it helps the algorithm. And then, um, you know, Torres and Toe Vibes, if y'all see this, bro, share this video. Thank you. Y'all have a good one.